you at here, Buzz TV. It's a fun night. It's a weekend. We're in Vegas, and we caught up with Pacifier. Hey, guys. How you doing? Good. How are you? Uh, great. Wow. Excellent. Let's start this. We're going to go around the horn, introduce the guys, and we'll dive into it. All right. I'm Mike. I play keyboards. I'm Nick. I play the drums. I'm Ted. I play guitar and sing. Will. I play bass and sing. Now. Winter Destruction Tour. You have uh, what? One more night after this, so you winter takeover. Winter takeover. Takeover. Well, excuse me. Destruction well, you, sounds you, awesome. could, you could call it Winter Destruction. Destruction is Just, way better. See, well, there you go. I, should have thought of that. I like that, but but again, the Takeover Tour, and you pretty much went all over and took all over, and now it's Vegas's turn. Yep. Yeah. I just noticed you have the graphic for our tour on your microphone. Oh shit! Oh, yeah. What? That's rad. Oh yeah. Hold on. It'll roll through. No, no, no. We have logos in the actual tour graphic. Pop up there. The neat mic you got here. Well, you know, you always try to stay on top of the curve one way or sure. the other. So, as we were saying, one night after this, how did this tour turn out? This tour was great. The West Coast is always good to us. We did um, started out sort of in uh, Colorado, Washington, and then we the last part of the tour has been all California. Um, last night in Phoenix, and uh, every, everything's been awesome. We love the West Coast. Very nice, and from what I hear tomorrow, what is it, Salt Lake? Yes, yes. Salt Lake City, um, it's a festival with uh, our buddies Pepper and Iration. Oh, nice, we love Pepper. It's a bro, bro union. Yeah. A bro union, bro very union, cool. For sure. And after this, what do you guys have planned? Is it vacation time or dive right back into writing and recording? Uh, it's a little two, both. Week, two weeks off, and then we're uh, starting a tour with the Expendables, supporting the Expendables on the East Coast, and then uh, that takes us up to Cali Roots, Carolina sessions. Very cool. In Myrtle Beach, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, in between all of that, we're always writing pretty much. Oh, I bet. Now, uh, with the new tour dates, for those guys, where are they going to find out where you're hitting, where all the East Coast dates are? What's the best place? Website? Yeah. Website. Sure. Works. Facebook. Um, Pacifiertheband.com slash tour. That's it. There you That's go. The one. Tour. Tour is the most important part. Tour. Tour. But they're tour. Wrong. It's tour. <laughs> Show dates. Whatever you want to call it, it's there on our website. And we'll have links down here to all that fun stuff. Down here. Right like down here. In this You'll see spot it, here. maybe, somewhere. <laughs> Under their logo. Yeah. yeah. The album. Let's talk about that thing. The, the new stuff? Of course. Okay. When, uh, when it, you know, one, when will we see all the new stuff? 2017. Yeah. We're <laughs> first part of 2017 is what we're shooting for. Although you'll actually get a taste of the stuff in 2016. We've been playing a new song, and probably by the end of the year we'll be fixed, like fitting in a few other new songs for the new album, which would be released in 2017. Now, do you guys have pretty much the album, you know, song-wise ready to go? Are we still fine-tuning some no, stuff? No. Or are we still writing? Or? We're, we're in the writing phase right now. We, we've done one where we kind of went through and got a bunch of songs together. And then we want to do two or three more writing sessions where we were able to go in the studio with a bunch to choose from instead of going into the studio with just the 12 songs that we're going to put on the record. So we, we've got a bunch of ideas going, and we're going to keep churning those out so we can sort of have a step back and look at it and choose the best ones. Very nice. Anyone lucky enough to have a sponsorship or endorsement we want to show some love to? Uh, I have one with Vader drumsticks, the best sticks ever, and uh, Sabian cymbals. Uh, we love those guys. In fact, yeah. we spoke to them up at NAMM this year. Uh, right on. Cool. We all use Ernie Ball strings. Yes. And Myself, I'm a super slinky yeah. guy, so. Yeah, man. They're very good to us. And uh, I, I rock a music band. Um, it's very nice. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Now tonight, what do we, what do we expect to see out of the set tonight? Um, we're, old songs. Yeah. Some new songs. It's it's a good some mixture segues. of everything, and yeah, and some some jam, some segue jams. Yeah, we usually make sure every album is pretty well spoken for. Mm -hmm. and we've definitely been trying to branch out with certain songs as far as getting some spontaneity and and improv improvising a little bit more on certain stuff. So you'll see. I don't know. 
It could be good, it could be terrible. <laughs> You'll see Mike playing a lot more than just keyboards tonight as well. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're in Vegas, so you never know what might happen. Yeah, I was Absolutely. inspired walking down Fremont Street, you know, like I saw pasties, I saw, you know, <laughs> costumes. Mike's gonna, wear his, pa he's gonna wear his pasties tonight. Actually. Mike's inspiration. Well, yeah, you know, if, if you went far enough up the street, there is a street, there is a strip club up there. Oh. There's a strip club in Vegas? Vegas? What? <laughs> Let alone on this street. Really? Yes, seriously, up the street know, on your I right. I know the Spearmint Rhino is near here. Oh, no, this one literally, you go out the door, turn left, uh, maybe 100, 200 yards on your right. Okay, Let's right on. Right. Yeah, right. Our, our first actual national tour ever was with Pepper, and our first show on that tour was here in Vegas. So we made a trip out here, and it was my buddy's um, uh, bachelor party at the same time. So we went to Spearmint Rhino, and that was our first experience on our first national tour, first show. Went to Spearman Rhino to kick it off, and it was pretty crazy. That was that was a very fun time. It was the worst <laughs> tour ever. That was a great way to kick off the tour when we were all like 23 years old and just like had no idea what or we were getting into. Or could it disappointed the tour going? If this is how it starts off, how are you going to top that every yeah, night? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't. No, you that tour that was that tour was full of set things like that. Set the bar high. Yeah. But Pepper Boys did not disappoint. They showed us a good time. Oh, they're a great band. I'm pretty excited to see them tomorrow, actually. Oh, yeah. I don't think I've actually seen all of them together at once since Warped Tour, like, five years ago. Yeah. So, it'll be nice. It'll be nice, as Will said, a bro union. That's it, bro union. We're going to drink protein shakes. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, we'll leave that one alone. I'm scared of that stuff, unless it's lots of alcohol in a protein shake. Uh-oh. -uh. Yeah. Now, uh, I guess here's the most important question we could ask in any interview, because we're getting close to the end. What might we have left out that they need to know about Pacifier? We uh, we've got a lot of uh, festivals coming up in the spring season. Um, come catch us in Florida. We're going to be all over Florida doing festivals in uh, April and May. and. Uh, we are going to Europe again. Oh, fuck yay. Yeah, it's, uh, we, I mean, it's this kind of a soft announcement. Um, we don't have the full plan toward planned out, but we are going um, in June and July uh, back to Europe to divide and conquer once again over there. Not divide, we're not gonna So divide. that would be pacifierband.com com slash the band slash tour tour t-o-u-r oh come on i thought we were going to get it right tour there you go so you'll get those europe dates there for our friends in europe we know you're tuning in too now here's something we like to do hopefully you guys are up for it since we're in vegas we have a little game we call roll the bones okay. where i found this is i really don't know yeah. I have a 30 sided dice. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Is that some D&D stuff you got? I don't know because out of all the years I played D&D, &D, I never saw a 30 sided dice or used one, so I have no clue. Yeah. <laughs> but I saw a 30 and was like, what the hell? Um, and I have 30 pre selected questions. Awesome. What is happening? And I think, oh. and I think oh. three or four of them even deal with oh, music. Wow, cool. Wow. You guys <laughs> up for playing bones. around? Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Damn. Yes. <laughs> Question 12. 12. 12. What's Satan's last name? <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, Trump. So That'll work. Oh, it nice. Yeah. Oh, see you later. Bird. Feel the bird. 13. Lucky yeah. number 13. Biggest pet peeve. Biggest pet peeve. Man. People that talk in movie theaters. <laughs> oh my God, shut up. <laughs> run, run. That's the one, run. All right, all right, time to roll the third side of that. What do we got going on here? 23 Michael Jordan's cover. Oh shit. And Michael, Michael Jordan. And Michael Jordan would like to know, do you fold or crinkle your toilet paper? Fold. Nice. The answer fold. It's yeah. much more, you know, it's Who much. Crinkles, seriously. Yeah. No, crinkling is a thing of the past. I don't know. Good question. Someone sent us in that question, so we asked for a couple more, That's and really that was personal. when we got set in. Well, yeah. <laughs> hey, let's go. Hey. All these 
Rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10 on how weird are you? Uh, 11. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's usually my answer. <laughs> and I can't have you play if I don't play. And 24 is, what is in my refrigerator? Pretty much not a lot of shit. Let's see. <laughs> there is... Uh, no, no, let's see. There's this kind of iced tea. So there's Lipton green tea. Good. There's some um, Jones blue soda. Solid. Good 7-Up, wow. a rock star, condiments, and I think leftovers from a couple nights ago. Can I ask you a question? Hell yeah. Another? What's your favorite condiment in your fridge? Mustard. Okay. I, I'm a mustard guy, too. I can get down with that. Yep. And then again, there's not a whole lot of condiments in my fridge. <laughs> So that's just cut by default. Yeah. You got mustard and well, it's either that ketchup or you know sriracha. So again, I'm kind of weak in the refrigerator, man. Okay. <laughs> the freezer's loaded, but the refrigerator's kind of empty. Yeah, that is kind of insane, isn't it? Yeah, thirty sided. I saw a hundred sided one, but I was like, how would it ever stop? <laughs> well. We got to let these guys get to it. They got a fun set coming. We're going to be out there and you're going to see the first three songs. Don't forget, you're at 360, so everyone back there, they should wave because they've been here the whole time and people will see them. So for us, for Pacifier, for Buzz TV at the LVCS, we're out of here, guys. See ya. Nice to see y'all again, yeah, Vegas. Thank you, Vegas. Once again, feeling good.
Vegas.
Thank you.